What's going on Animal Crossing fans? My name is Blaze and today I want to talk about something that Nintendo has done with Animal Crossing New Horizons that is very interesting. It's different. It's not bad or good. It's just different. And I think if I... I want to talk about the pros and the cons of this new thing and um, kind of see where you guys stand on it. Um, basically what, what, what I'm talking about is the holidays and the downloadable content and updates that are required for these certain holidays to take place. Um, uh, today is the 27th of March, uh, 2020, and yesterday uh, Nintendo came out with a Nintendo Direct Mini and they showed off the Bunny Day event or the Bunny Week event where uh, between April 1st and April 12th you'll be able to uh, meet up with Zipper T Bunny and go on a uh, Animal Crossing Easter egg hunt, which is awesome. It was super fun in the past. I think it's going to be a lot more fun this time, and the furniture that you get from it looks awesome. Um, so I'm very excited to do all of that when it comes out. Um, this is a different Switch console that I'm using right now in a different town. And this town is actually called Nice Town. Isn't it nice? So cool, right? Uh, but I, I, I created this town just for the sole purpose of time traveling and, and figuring out um, how the holidays were going to work. Basically... Um, I thought that since the update was pushed through, I think yesterday or the day before, version 1.1.1, that I'd be able to time travel to April 1st, 2nd, or the 3rd and experience Bunny Week or this this time of the year, and that didn't happen. Um, I, I still can't experience any any holidays. I even traveled to, of course, I knew this was going to happen, but I traveled to Halloween and I traveled to Earth Day to see if there was anything different going on in the town, and there's not. Um, and, and this is kind of a new thing that Nintendo's done with Animal Crossing, and it, it's kind of taken a couple of like beats from like Pocket Camp or whatever. Uh, and it's strange. I don't know if I like it. Um, basically, when you have the game, um, if, if you have Animal Crossing and you have the base game fresh out of the box, no updates, no internet, nothing, um, you basically cannot experience any holidays whatsoever. And that's not normally a big deal because, I mean, let's face it, everybody has internet, but it does pose some problems for much, much later on. So um, right now, I mean, we, we know the current state of the world is kind of, kind of crazy right now. There's a lot of stuff going on with this, with this virus going around and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, the next crisis might be something on a, on a much more grand scale. I mean, I, I'm not saying that, that anyone's going to attack the internet and take the internet down, but... What if something happens where the internet no longer exists? I mean, that that's probably not possible anytime soon, but, you know, it could happen. But what is realistic is that, you know, 20 years from now, Animal Crossing, um, for the Switch, Animal Crossing New Horizons will be on a console, the Switch, that will not have any internet connectivity because those servers have been shut down. And if you look at the past of the Wii U and the Wii, um, those consoles had internet connectivity, but today they do not. So if you look at a game like City Folk, if City Folk was made the same way that Animal Crossing New Horizons has been made, and you buy City Folk today, put it in your Wii and try to play it, you can enjoy the game every day, but there will be no holidays because you won't have any of the updates required for those holidays to exist. And no way to get them either. So that's the concern that I have. Now, I don't know if when you get the update that it actually updates your cartridge. Um, I'm sure that if you if you can download the game from the Nintendo eShop, then obviously you have internet, so you're gonna be able to get the updates. Um, it's not necessarily a big, big deal because the internet's been around for a while. It's a, it's a staple in everybody's house. Um, you know, 50 years ago, everyone had a TV, and that was the big thing, you get a TV. But today, now, everybody has internet. Like, that's just how it is. So it's not really that big of a deal, and the internet's not likely to go out or stop working anytime soon. But 20 years from now, when the Switch does not connect to online anymore because the Nintendo, you know, Fusion is out or whatever it's called, um, and that's the console they're going to be supporting for the next, you know, 15 years. Anybody who buys Animal Crossing as a classic retro game or whatever will not be able to get any of the holidays now. I think what's going to happen is that Nintendo is most likely going to release an update to this game uh, probably a year down the line, it's my prediction, either six months to a year down the line, where they add a bunch of new stuff like maybe the police station 
Um, maybe they add Celeste um, Observatory if that's not already in the game. I haven't been there. No spoilers, please. Um, maybe they add a whole bunch of new stuff that really isn't in the game right now. And that would be cool. Um, I think it would, it would be fine to have some new stuff to experience in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Maybe they add some new fruits. Maybe they add some new, you know, some, some new crafting uh, ideas or new furniture or something like that. Much like the way that Welcome Amiibo updated New Leaf. Um, probably, I think it was around, was it six months or a year later? I can't remember when it came out. But the Welcome Amiibo update was awesome and added a bunch of new stuff. And I'm certain that if they come out with any update like that, it's going to include all of the holidays so that you won't have to worry about that stuff. Um, I think what they what they want to do right now is kind of stagger those holidays so that you don't just time travel to those holidays, experience it, and time travel to the next holiday and all that stuff. And that's all well and good. I, I really don't have a problem with that because I think it, it takes... I don't have a problem with time traveling either, to be fair. I, I, I don't necessarily think it's cheating, but I prefer not to do it. Um... I think things like item duplication are definitely cheating, and um, there's kind of a gray area there with time travel, but, but when you time travel, you as a player, if you're time traveling, you don't have any advantage that I don't have. You just do everything quicker. Uh, if I prefer to play the game without time traveling, that means that I I, I can still do everything that you're doing, it's just going to take me longer, and, and that's why I don't really have a problem with it. Um, I don't. I prefer not to play with people who have time traveled, but even then, it's not that big of a deal. So, <clears throat> so overall, I, I don't think that time traveling is is a big deal. And I think what Nintendo's done is they've made it so that people who do time travel don't all of a sudden have access to all of these events. They can't write guides on them. They can't put this information out there before it's even available to anybody else. Um, it's basically just. You know, you, you experience the Cherry Blossom Festival, you experience the, the holiday, the seasonal things, but not the holidays. And that's pretty much it. But um, it's interesting um, how, how they've done that and why they've done that. And if you are updating the cartridge, that's great because then my cartridge will be fully updated by the time version 1.5 or 6 or 1.7 comes out, whatever it is. And I can just go ahead and, and you know, use that one in the future offline and not have to worry about any updates coming through but i don't know I, I really don't know how i feel about it overall i think it's fine um and maybe my fear of what's going to happen 20 years from now is probably a little bit um uh pre-mature <laughs> it's definitely premature fear to, to have i just don't know what's going to happen in the next, you know, year or two. Um, I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, and I guess in some cases I'm worried, you know, what if what if the next virus comes along and then, you know, it it, it makes it so that Nintendo can't meet their deadline to, to push this update through. You know, those, those are also things that are concerning, but I don't think it's going to be something that we have to worry about. I don't think that there is going to be a next virus necessarily, but, you know, I... It is a fear, so, so you know I, I'm hoping that it doesn't have any any ramifications uh, to the game, you know, in the future. But I think what is cool about it, though, I think what is awesome is that you Nintendo will have the ability to put in events that um, are not yearly. So, for example, when, when you saw the uh, the E3 demo. Tom Nook came online and he said he said some things in, in his little intro when he started the game that he would not have normally said. Um, that That's an example of an update that could be pushed to your console that's not necessarily a, a, a holiday or anything that happens on a yearly basis. So, um, you know, during the time of E3, which sadly E3 was canceled this year, but during that time... Um, Tom Nook could come on and say, we're celebrating gaming and gaming history this week. Here's an NES console or, or something along those lines. Here's a Virtual Boy. Uh, just to kind of give you some classic, you know, Nintendo nostalgia. Um, not saying that it'll have a playable game on it, but that'd be cool too. Uh, I just think that the updates in general are a good idea, but I guess I'm, I'm probably more... I'm probably definitely... A, 
prematurely afraid of it. And I'm trying to argue both sides with myself. So if you if you see me going back and forth, it's not because I don't have a solid opinion. It's that I really don't have an opinion. I'm just trying to get the information out there and, and hope that you guys have an opinion. So uh, having said that, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, do you like the updates? Do you think that they're cool? Do you think that it's something that you're happy with, that um, you're glad Nintendo did, or, or do you not like it? Do you think that Nintendo should have um, just put the game 100% together and put it out that way? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Hit like and subscribe. I'll be back with more Animal Crossing content coming up real soon, so definitely check out the channel. And check me out on Twitch uh, for live Animal Crossing gameplay. Twitch.tv slash L3LAYZE. And I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip.